some interesting materials that uh, I want to play with in the future and maybe you know prototype a toy around or or do something with. Maybe we can make a fun musical uh, instrument at some point with this that does some light effects. There's some cat eyes here. I picked this up at a novelty store and it caught my attention um, purely by the color that it um, made when I when I turned it on and I immediately recognized that 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 the colors weren't LEDs that it was something else. Now let me turn it on and you can see it there. It's probably not going to come across on the video very well what the color is so I had to buy it to see how it worked because it certainly <laughs> wasn't LEDs. So They gotcha! Yeah, so I've pulled it apart already so we can see here. What it is is electroluminescent phosphors that they've um, segmented so it makes the cat eyes look like they're blinking up and down. And what's neat about this material is that if we pull this apart a little bit more, you can see that the part that makes the light, you know, is, is as thin as a business card. It's flexible. You can flex it, it still works. If you look at the back, it's all the materials are silk screened on. And then there's a high voltage power supply here that generates 100 volts. So this would be the steps that you would take to make um, a display. So you'd have a clear substrate. I'm going to use this piece of paper as the um, substrate, and which corresponds to the transparent um, plastic that the light is shining through. I'm going to use transparencies to illustrate this is you would put down a translucent conductor which is made out of typically indium tin oxide so you can see right through it but electricity will uh, flow through it's one of the rare uh, uh, transparent conductors oh my god okay so it's a trans a transparent conductor that's very Star Trek yes yes it's it's really cool transparent aluminum they've actually had uh, transparent conductors for quite a while um, they used them in the common monochrome LCDs back in the 70s. So you silk screen this down, you know, simple process, kind of like your t-shirts that you were talking about prior. Um, the next thing is you silk screen, silk screen down some, a phosphorus layer, a phosphor layer, I'm sorry, which this is what makes the color. This is, um, so there's a ton of them to make all the different colors. So the next step is you silk screen down a dielectric, which is a fancy word for a uh, insulator and s each <laughs> layer you can see that there's a hole that goes clear down to the um, the bottom layer where the conductors are so now you've made this insulating layer so that the phosphor you know is not going to be in contact with the next layer and the last layer doesn't have to be transparent but you put down conductors so here this is exaggerated but there's conductors running across. You wire these up to a circuit and you can turn them on. You know, in the instance of the cat eyes here, you know, you can turn these on one at a time and make it look like the cat eyes are winking at you. Or you can shape this in any shape you want and make um, displays. And sometimes there's a, a, a layer that goes over top to protect it from moisture and 